Hi, this is Gabe from FluentForever.com. In this video, I aim to show you how to use your pronunciation trainer effectively. So, first things first, I'm going to give you a pronunciation video to watch. It's intended to familiarize you with your language's pronunciation system before you start using your trainer, so you don't get too overwhelmed once you start actually using it. Make sure you watch that first. You won't need to memorize everything you see and hear. That's what the trainers are for. But if you pay attention during that video, the trainers will work a lot better and they'll be a lot easier to use. In the pronunciation videos, I'm going to be teaching you some letters from the International Phonetic Alphabet, or IPA. This is to simplify both of our jobs. In English, for instance, there are ten ways to spell the sound oo, as in food. Rather than trying to teach you all of those at once, which would be pretty overwhelming, I can just teach you one letter from the IPA, oo, which looks like a lowercase u, and save us both a lot of effort. You won't need to memorize the IPA letters, but in practice, you probably will, since the trainers will be using IPA next to every word. So watch the video for your target language, and once you have, start using your trainer. To install it and get it running inside of Anki, the flashcard software you'll be using, check out the guide at fluentforever.com slash chapter 2. It's linked below, so once you're ready, click there and get your trainer running. Whenever you open your trainer, you'll encounter six types of flashcards. The first type will teach you spelling rules. CH is in French's C-H-E-V-R-E. -E. Sounds like what? Your job is to remember the sound of that particular spelling. In this case, sh, as in chèvre. The second type of flashcard is the inverse of the first. You'll hear a recording of a word you've already encountered, in this case, chèvre, and you're going to try and remember how to spell it. This will help ingrain your language's spelling rules in the context of real words. Next, you'll encounter ear training cards. These cards will play a recording of a word, give you two options for what that word might be, and ask you to guess which one you think you heard. The first time you encounter them, you may not have a clue what you heard, so feel free to press the Show Answer button. You'll hear the recording again and see the word you heard. In time, these cards will train your ears to hear the new sounds of your target language. The final three flashcard types are simple vocabulary trainers. One card will show you a word and ask you to remember what it means and how to pronounce it. Another will show you a picture of that word, along with its translation. You'll need to remember how to pronounce that word in your target language. The last card will show you a picture of that same word and play a recording. You'll need to remember how to spell it in your target language. Just a quick note, uh, even though I usually discourage the use of translations, I do use them here. These trainers aren't really designed to teach you vocabulary in any depth. You'll do that later. For now, we're trying to ingrain the spelling and sound rules of your target language. And so, if you're getting confused over whether a particular word is supposed to mean dog, pet, or golden retriever, you're not going to be focusing on what you need most. So, don't worry about the translations. And for now, concentrate on reading and listening. And that's it for now. Thanks so much for listening, and enjoy your pronunciation trainer.